Welcome to today's show. If you're new to this channel, on this channel, I provide information to help people that travel with challenges, travel better, avoid the pitfalls. I share information for their friends and their families that travel with them. And today I'm very fortunate to have with me Audrey Pierce. And she is from a very unique property. She's with the Madonna Inn in San Luis Obispo, California. And for those of you that don't know anything about it, it is a very unique property. We're going to look at some of the accessibility features today, and she's going to help us do a virtual tour. Welcome to the show, Audrey. Thank you so much, Kenneth. I'm really excited to be here and give you a tour. No, well, it's so very nice. So you're in a room? I'm in a room. Let me flip you around so that you can see. So we're going to start in golfers. So this is one of our accessible rooms. And as the name implies, this room's theme. So all of our rooms here, we have 130. 10 individually themed rooms and so the theme of this room is the golfer so this little path here is like pebble beach inspired little pebbles and then we have some fun pieces of art and little fixtures and this room's really nice because it's so open and airy and bright especially today on saint patrick's day a little kick of green doesn't hurt and this is a really cool feature too so this is one of two patios that we have. Our accessible rooms are actually the only ones with this outdoor fireplace patio. Oh, very nice. So it's a great way to, we were talking about weather just a moment ago. It's really fair. I've got a coat on. I like being warm. And then this is our accessible bathrooms. So we've got our roll-in shower, strip bars. And as I said, so the themed rooms, everything has a consistent theme within each room. So even the bathrooms and the light fixtures, the artwork, it all has a golfer's theme in this room. Very nice. As I told you when we had talked before we set this up, that I'd had the chance to visit a couple of times, but never farther than the, the restaurant. And, and back in the day, I don't know if it's still that way, but the men's bathroom was a tourist attraction. Oh, yes. Our men's waterfall restroom is quite yep. a showstopper. Not everyone wants to be known for their restroom, but we are. That's yeah, maybe we can get to that a little later too. So we actually have a, you can see it, we have a, a trapeze lesson pop-up. Out there in the field, there's a family that we've worked with that's in the circus industry. And in the midst of the pandemic, they've made a pivot and brought their trapeze set up. And they've been running flying trapeze classes for the past few months. So that's been a really fun attraction. That sounds very interesting. I'm a little old for that. But for those that are athletic and inclined, that sounds like a very cool thing to be able to stay at your property and enjoy the unique features and get trapeze less. It's a pretty unique draw, the unique feature. Not many people witnessed a trapeze class and it is a beautiful day. I am about ready to ditch this little jacket I've got on because the sun is coming out. And we have some nice rains recently. So everything just feels so fresh and beautiful. That area of California is pretty cool because there are some interesting things to do around there. We used to go up to Paso Robles and to the wine country up there. And, and you don't think about that area as being wine country, but there's a lot of really cool wineries in that area. We had a subscription to one for several years. So much wine country in the San Luis Obispo County. It's really beautiful. Even if you're not a consumer of wine, they're just beautiful to look at. Yeah, there's one up near Paso Robles. It's interesting. It's called the Straw Bale Winery. And the winery is built out of straw bales covered with adobe. Wow. Some old school yeah. construction there. <laughs> yeah. So this is our rose room. So as the name implies, this has some sort of light rosy brick and a rose colored tile pattern, some artwork. I love these little Paris fixtures that we have around property. Beautiful custom couches, the roses. Let's see here. I think we have all the lights on quite yet. Here, it's bathroom. And roses on the little... shower curtain. Roses on the shower curtain, roses on the tiles. Yeah. Okay. And for those that are watching and have never been into this part, San Luis Obispo, you're about halfway between LA and San Francisco or a little south of that? We are almost exactly halfway between LA and San Francisco. And okay. we are located on US Highway 101. So it's a just a natural stopping point for people that are on their travels. And I would encourage anybody that is making that trip and then you can work it into your schedule it is such a unique property. It's just a chance for you to have a one-of-a-kind place to stay. There's not another Madonna Inn probably anywhere in the world. And it is very unique, very different. So I would encourage you to think about that as a place to stop. For those that are driving, want to drive up the PCH, the Pacific Coast Highway, uh, just out very near to 
the San Luis Obispo, you can correct me on this, uh, Audrey, but I know you're not very far from where Highway 1 breaks off and goes down toward Morro Bay and then goes north on the coast. Correct. Yeah. Morro Bay is about 15 minutes from us. 20 to 15. Yeah, and that is an amazing drive. And, and north of Morro Bay is beautiful in and of itself. They usually, you can get fresh salmon there and it's a great place to eat. And then going north from Morro Bay, you wind up passing by Hearst Castle. And again, it is such a unique place to visit that I would encourage anybody that gets to this part of the world should make that trip. I've done it several times and just love that part of the Central Coast. This is a newer piece of our property that we developed. A lot of people actually, since the pandemic have enjoyed having lunches out here. They take their sandwiches or their to-go foods and just enjoy a really tranquil picnic out here. And we also do a lot of weddings and events out here as well. That is gorgeous. Thank you. I love to come here just to hang out. It's so peaceful. Yeah, and I would say that was the one thing that struck me so far is everything we've looked at is very easily accessible. Plenty of room for a wheelchair or a scooter. Yeah, so if you were to drive in off of the highway, this is the, the way that you'd come. Um, and you're here. When you see this beautiful pink and blue sign, you'll pass this. This is actually a, a lion's den. We call it the lion's den. And back when Mr. Madonna was just building the property, he had friends that were exotic pet owners, breeders. And one of his friends asked if he could keep a lion here. And so for a time back in the 60s, there was actually a real lion for a short time named Duchess that used to live in that little lion's den. Anybody that's driving north from like Santa Barbara north toward San Francisco is going to go along on Highway 101. And so you'll pass right by the Madonna Inn. Uh, so I can't suggest this enough. If you go by Madonna Inn, you should stop and at least take a quick tour. And then ideally, you're going to want to stay yes. there if we can make it work for you. So this here, this is our reservations office. So that's where you would go to check into your room. This here, so this entrance we can go through, this is our steakhouse. And that is what we decorate seasonally. And we're famous because it's a big pink dining room. And then this area, which I'll also walk you through, is our copper cafe. Our shops, you can see the, the goblets there. We're very famous for our goblets and we sell them in our shops. So people can take home a little piece of Madonna Inn when they visit. So now we'll come into our copper cafe. So this is our world famous bakery and we make all these cakes in house every day. And we are very famous for all of our baked goods. So this is our steakhouse. And to increase the, the social distancing, we've been seating some guests for the cafe in here for breakfast as well. So normally this is open for dinner service, but because of the changes that we've all had to make, we decided that it would be a good idea to open this up for dining all the time so that we can seat people more, more spaced out. And we're decorated for Easter right now, as you can tell. We do. So we take a lot of pride in getting everything pretty and festive for each holiday. So up here, those are our shops. And our shops managers and our shops attendants are really great with personal shopping. So they're, they're almost too good. <laughs> in fact, they can see what size you are by just looking at you practically. They're always happy to bring items down, to send photos and video, to really make the shopping experience personalized and for guests that aren't able to access the shops, they are happy to make the items accessible and bring down whatever's needed. Oh, well, that's very nice. Yeah. And this is our silver bar. And then this is our dance floor. So in a pre-COVID world, we would have nightly entertainment here, the band, and then this whole dance floor would be open to our dancers. And there's a few different, like a salsa club and a ballroom club that make it a weekly date to come every week on their night and dance. Yeah. And again, like I said, it is so unique. And that whole part of California in some ways is one of my favorite stretches. I love the drive up to PCH. I, I love San Simeon, Hearst Castle, uh, Morro Bay. That's gorgeous. We've talked a little bit about Morro Bay and, and we've mm -hmm. talked about the drive north. What is there to do for guests that might want to just visit in San Luis Obispo? What are things there that tourists should plan on seeing besides the Madonna Inn? Obviously the number one attraction in San Luis Obispo is the Madonna Inn. We like to think so. Yeah, 
yeah, San Luis is really bustling with unique shops. If you love sandwiches, we are one of the best places to get a sandwich. We have a few delicious local delis. Our downtown area is really a great place to spend an afternoon and shop. You can walk around. We have an alley called Bubblegum Alley, and it is exactly what it sounds like. People put their bubblegum on the sides of the walls of this alley. So it's an interesting thing for people to see. There's so many wonderful restaurants, and of course, we really love and recommend our own restaurants, but there's so much to see. It would be difficult to even give you a list. Although <laughs> we did just post a list of iconic eats in San Luis Obispo County on our Instagram. I'm a foodie, but I'd say that the food and the wine and the delicious agricultural products are certainly something should not be missed on a trip to San Luis Obispo. And I would say that about that whole trip along the coast too. There's seafood, salmon fishing. When I was there, which now would have been 18 years ago, I used to go up to Morro Bay and get fresh salmon. And for, for yeah. people that have never eaten fresh ocean run salmon, there is nothing like it in the world. Yeah, there's something, I'm trying to remember the name of the actual fish shop. I want to say, I think it's Giovanni's, Robe, and they have something called salmon candy. And it is like a caramelized salmon jerky almost. And <laughs> talk about a treat. It is insane. So yes, the fresh fish. It's really such a great area for wine, food, seafood, really uh, the views, just being able to look at this beautiful mountainscape. It's a feast for the senses. And when people are ready to explore again, we are here and we're open and excited to welcome our guests. Yeah, that looks amazing. Sounds amazing. Do they keep horses next to you? That fence looks a lot like a horse fence. Yes, we have. I have to walk a bit to get to them, but there are two babies that live in this field named Louie and Peanut. And then, let's see, I'll walk a little bit just to point to the direction. We actually have horseback trail rides. Yeah, so you can come. You don't have to be a, a hotel guest to enjoy a trail ride, but our horseback trail rides, you'll follow this road and you'll come back over in this area. That's where our stables are. And our head wrangler, Hattie, she's got over 30 horses and she takes rides up. I don't see any going out right now, but she takes rides up and they come up this lower part of the mountain and up to here. And they also go over in this area. So you see views of, you can see on a clear day, you can see all the way out to Morro Bay, which is pretty awesome. So I do have a question for you because this just opened my eyes to some things. So you do horse rides and you mentioned the spa. Is it a pamper you from head to toe spa or? Yeah, so we do massage and body treatments. We're going to be opening back up with our facials. But at this point, because of different restrictions that we're working through, we're not offering those right now. But we have, I call it massage luxury. There's massage therapy, and that's like wonderful, good for the body, but sometimes you're like, oh, this hurts. We have deep tissue available if that's something that you like, but we really specialize in just a luxurious experience. Okay. So we have a spa and horseback riding. What else do you have for guests to mm -hmm. visit? We have bicycles for rent if people would like to use those. And right along here is actually a bike path that connects the downtown area to the Bob Jones Trail, the continuation of the Bob Jones Trail. It's wonderfully paved, so it's a quick way to get to the downtown area, but you could spend a whole day exploring that path if you'd like. Let's see, I mentioned our shopping. Another feature that we sometimes have when coronavirus was not in our sights yet, we were doing wine and chocolate tasting. So that's in our bar and our downstairs area. Ooh, there's our bikes. We could go and see the pink and blue tennis courts. So we have some really bright, brightly painted athletic courts. Okay, we've got tennis and we've got horseback riding and we've got the spa. But what about golf? We have a lot of great courses around location-wise, like just purely distance-wise. Laguna Lake Golf Course is the closest municipal course, and that's actually a 10-hole course, and it's lovely. It's a shorter course, so if you're a long driver, you might just be hitting your fairway medals, but we also have some really beautiful 18-hole courses in Morro Bay, in Paso Robles, the Tascadero. So while you're walking, let me ask a question. Are you bike friendly? That If you had a group came that were bike riders, that you could accommodate that? Absolutely. We have actually hosted the Amgen Tour of California. Yes, we have really mild temperatures. We're coming into our springtime right now. So 
with a couple more rains, these hills will be nice and green. So this is our pool and spa area. So beautiful beachfront entry pool. This is heated to about 85 degrees. Tables and chairs here to enjoy some lovely views. And the sunset views up here are really nice. I said, do you have bar service up there? We do, yeah. So this here is our pool bar. And you can order a blended drink. You can order a glass of wine, a beer. We've got great smoothies and non-alcoholic drinks for everybody. And we have some light bites up here too. So you can get a hot dog, a sandwich and chips, a nice wrap. And, and I noticed it was very nice to see not only do you have lifts for the pool, but you have lifts for the hot tub. Yes, we do. Yeah, we're really happy for being able to let everyone enjoy these facilities. It's a great place to stay if you want to explore the local area. And you could spend, like I said, you could spend at least one full day here just exploring everything on property. But then there's so much else to do around town. If you wanted to take a little drive to San Simeon, the Hearst Castle is incredible. It's my hometown, but I like to vacation here too. <laughs> so this is where you can get a nice cocktail, a little bite to eat, a cheese plate. Actually, I appreciate the tour. It was very nice of you to do this for us. If you'll hold on just a second let me say goodbye to the folks and then i'm, I'm gonna come back and talk to you for just a second but okay. for those that are watching hopefully you enjoyed the tour we really appreciate your help ashley you were very kind to take time out of your day to take us around and show us like i said the property is amazing i've been there before and hopefully i will get back and for those that haven't subscribed to the channel please do me a favor hit like because that lets youtube know there's stuff of value in the video and then subscribe and notify and that way you get told when i'm gonna have my next video thanks for watching and, and we'll see you next time.